We're back here on Most Buffalo with Mostly Interesting and officers arrested a trespasser at a 104 year old woman's home in Florida, which sounds scary and it was, but it wasn't a human pass out, a trespasser. It was a five foot alligator. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Department recently posted <laughs> the video of the encounter. On social media, a licensed trapper handed the reptile to an officer who looked pretty excited to be handling that alligator, told the alligator it was under arrest, and then the trapper says the alligator was relocated and set free. Did the gator resist? <laughs> it looked a little resistant. Is the gator going to be booked for resisting arrest as well? Did he get a mug shot? <laughs> exactly. I mean, this looks like the most friendly arrest I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, you know, I feel like this happens like every week in Florida, right? <laughs> but that 404 year old woman, I mean, yeah, it, luckily the officers responded quickly and took care of the situation because I mean, you don't want that thing at your house. No, I wonder how it no, got in. No, I know, but it is Florida. So, yeah. you know, I feel like it happens a lot. All right, oh. Lauren, switching gears a little bit, but we're staying on the animal theme. Yes. The U.S. Postal Service releases its ranking of which cities had the most dog bites against mail carriers in 2023. The USPS says there were 5,800 reported dog attacks on its workers last year. The city with the most incidents was Los Angeles with 65, Houston, Chicago, St. Louis, and Cleveland make up the top five. The Postal Service is drawing attention to dog attacks as it rolls out its annual week-long National Dog Bite Awareness Campaign starting on June 2nd. The USPS is letting people know that the best way to help prevent these attacks is to keep dogs in the house, behind a fence, or on a leash before the mail carrier arrives. I feel so bad for mail carriers that like dogs. Yeah. Because dogs just don't like them. You know, recently <laughs> I, I had an HVAC technician come to my house and my dogs were literally meeting him at the door and he was like pretty freaked out. He's yeah. like, put those guys away. You don't before. know what you're dealing with. Right. But if you like dogs and you want to get to know them, but they are trying to play guard dog, you're coming on their turf. Exactly. And our dog, I was taking her for a walk down our street one time and it was our mail carrier delivering mail to someone else's house and she was barking at him. Well, wow. it's like, he, she's not at our house. It's not a danger. <laughs> Exactly. You don't have to bark at him, but he's... <laughs> my guys bark at everything. But, yeah. <laughs> Anything that moves outside my front window, they bark at. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, I just, yeah. If, that, if we could solve all the problems in the world, that would be one to, <laughs> to repair the rift between guard dogs yeah. and, and Can you just carriers. bark at stuff that's coming yeah. to our house? <laughs> yeah, and barking is fine. Barking doesn't hurt anyone. Right. If when right. it gets physical, that's when... Of course. Yeah, of yeah course. But, uh, but that's good to keep in mind for everyone. Just Yeah, let's just keep them safe. Protect your mail carrier, protect your, your dog. Exactly. <laughs> it's a win-win. Exactly. Here on